everyone, I'm Farel Emran and today I'll be telling you about extensions that will speed up your coding. Now the first one is Prettier. Now P-R-E-T-T-I-E-R, -E -T -T -E Prettier. As the name suggests, it is to make the things pretty. Means it's a code formatter which makes it pretty. Now when you install it, after you install it, you see here it to formats your html or css for example here if i like right click format document with prettier so you see here it has like formatted it like structured it made it better so it has done this so this is prettier does this now the second one is tab 9 now tab 9 is your ai companion now tab 9 what it does it's like ai autocomplete and chat for javascript python so when you install it so it asks you to make uh, the account so you can go make the account and then after that you can use it and it's completely free so after that what happens now for example if i'm making like inside it i'm making h1 for example yep see here when i just added the space so you see here it says it like it can you can like add p or do you want to add the paragraph or do you want to add like h1 for example if i say h1 okay and so it is like auto completing it for you so this is what tab 9 does so you make you make changes to it the third is live preview live preview now when you click on it you can install this extension after installing it for example when you go to like html then when you go right click after that you say preview in default browser now when you click on this so you can see your website has been like preview and you can see here whatever website you have made you can see it here using live review now this is the third extension now the fourth extension is material ui icon now when you click on material it's m-a-t-e-r-i-a-l material ui icon yeah material not material ui icon it's material icon okay now you can if you install this so you see here there are the file icons and you can like material icon thing and you have the folder icons you have the svg icons so and even by user settings you can add it see here now this h index.html the icon has been has came so it is like looking so nice because of this no even if you see here the folders like you see here this is the icon of the image this is the icon of the folder this is the icon of uh, html and this is the icon of css so this is really nice it's a nice extension now the fourth is spell checker. Now, for example, when you're writing it go fast or you're not good with spellings, so I'm not trying to demotivate you. But if you have like some problems in it, like when you're like making the spellings and for example, when you write and then you see there are some errors in the spelling, so you can go for spell checker in extension. Now, spell checker is also for different languages. And let me tell you which languages does it have. Okay. So spell checker. So by default it's for English, but you can there are some other languages. So the, these languages are supported, but there are some other also in which there's Arabic, Australian English, Austrian German, Basque, British English, Bulgarian, Canadian English, Catalan, Croatian, Suzuk, and Danish, Dutch, Esperanto. Estonian, French, French Reform, 90, German, Greek, Hebrew, Italian, Lithuanian, uh, 
Norwegian, Vokmal, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Serbian, Slovak, Slovenian, Spanish, Swedish, Swiss German, Turkish, Ukrainian, Vietnamese. Now all these languages you can have uh, there are the extensions for all these languages. So these languages you can use it and like check the spellings of it. Now I'll click on install. So after clicking on install, so it checks your spelling. So here you see here index.html is spell check means it checked the spellings. So for example, if I write, um, if I say like, okay, or if I say, nice, for example, I'm writing this. Okay. Now, now see here, you see here, it has like character, like there's some spelling error. Now, which one is it? Is it nice? Is it nice? Which one is it? So nice. Now, it has been corrected. You can control C. So this is what it's doing. It is like checking the spellings of your code and then it can tell you like there is some error in it. Now, the fifth one is code snap. Now, code snap code snapshot it's actually now code snapshot what it is like from the name you can say it takes the snapshot of your code so here this one now when you click on it install so you can like have the so here is how you can use it like you search for you say command shift p and then search for code snapshot then you select the code then you adjust the width now let's check it's command shift p okay now if i go for command command sh command shift and p okay now if or we can also search it um let's search code snapshot there are no matching results okay okay this one okay but you can also okay we can also do it by writing uh, by clicking on right click for example if i like select the code i go for right click here code snapshot so here you can see I can yep here the selected one screenshot has been done till here like the code which I have selected so this is nice wow yep this one this is also a nice one because if you want to like share your snapshot or somewhere so you can do this also there's image preview image preview okay this one when you click on install okay so whatever image that you add so you just hover on it so it like shows you the image so it's taking some time in installing now let's see Okay, yep, these are the images. Yep, see here? So you can see the image preview like it on hover. Now this is this is this image. This is this image. Yep. This is also a useful uh, extension which you can use for checking like which photos you have added or not. Now this is also nice. After that, there is color highlight. Now color high light. Okay. Now color highlight if you install it, so it highlights the web colors in your editor. Now let's see. Okay. Um let's see if the colors 
if I've added any colors. Yep, in CSS. Oh, so now it's according to that, it's this color. These colors came because of the... Okay. That's great. So it shows the highlighting of the colors that what colors I've added. So it's showing that because of the extension. Now this is also nice also. So that is all for my site. Thank you so much. And do tell me which one of these extensions were you using and which one you have not used. So do tell me in the comments. So that is all for my site. Thank you so much.